21st century's major theme is ecology. The concept of the International Garden Exposition Sinchon Bay, Korea 2013 is to keep and protect the ecology of Sinchon Bay. Let's find out more about the process of making Korea eco capital, Sinchon with Sinchon Bay. In 2006, Sinchon Bay was listed as the first domestic coastal wetland among Ramsar wetlands and became one of the world's most important eco repositories. Coming to this place, you will enjoy many glamorous scenes such as extensive mud flats, silver waves, shaking reed fields, and hooded cranes that are listed as a natural monument. However, just only 12 years ago, this great area was such a troubled area where people used to set fire to the reed fields to make rice paddies and even made fences to reclaim the land. As soon as 100 hectare wetlands disappear, the migrant birds and hooded cranes started to leave Sunchon Bay. In 2006, making Sunchon the echo capital of South Korea has become Sunchon City's administrative purpose. An exclusive department was set up and all the strength was concentrated on Sunchon Bay's revitalization. The governmental effort had resulted in Sunchon Bay being stretched out 1.2 square kilometers and being listed as the very first domestic scenic spot number 41 of the whole country in 2008. And the image of Sunchon Bay as the echo repository from heaven was also established. Furthermore, 2013 Sunchon Bay Garden Expo is a future environment friendly exposition that will be open in Korea for the first time to protect Sunchon Bay. Lately, chilly autumn winds mingle with Sunchon Bay's natural variety and has brought a very rare sight of nature. Soft flowers like downy hair blonde, the reeds turn to yellow, red japonica and silver waves contrast together and has made the most beautiful and enormous landscape beneath the autumn sky. Sunchon Bay is very popular for Hapo Beach and Wang Beach. Hapo Beach looks like the letter C and is located at the bottom part of Sunchon Bay. Riding a boat and taking turn around the reeds fields a very sweet experience. The sunrise of Hapo Beach or Wang Beach's sunsets are also great sights that give people unforgettable memories. This is the 1.2 km road that reaches the Sunchon Bay Natural Echo Garden. While walking on this road, you can hear the sound of the reed fields and the soft wind will give you a very comfortable feeling. Next to the Sunchon Bay Natural Echo Garden is Sunchon Literature Museum. You can visit the author of Record of Journey to Museum Nobel, Kim sung ho and the author of Osem Nobel, Chung Chae Bong. When the whole extensive mud flat and reed fields are colored by the sizzling sunset, hooded cranes settle on Japonica. Just the existence of Suncheon Bay is enough to make you moved. Suncheon Bay, one of the world's top five coastal wetlands, is the best place where the past and present, human and nature peacefully coexist and live in harmony. We hope the visitors coming to Suncheon Bay and the exposition will be able to recharge your body and mind through the ecotourism and contribute to Suncheon City's economic revitalization. This is Yona Kim from NSB.